as they search for the fourth and final suspect in last week's bus stop mass shooting. This is the first image released of the 17 year old boy now at the center of a citywide manhunt. Investigators say Asir Boone should be considered armed and dangerous. According to the U.S. Marshals, the deadline for that teen to turn himself in is now come and gone. And tonight, in addition to a warning for anyone who might be helping him, there's also a reward for information leading to his capture. Action News reporter Annie McCormick live at police headquarters tonight. Annie, this is the youngest of the four suspects police say carried out this shooting. Yeah, and Brian, that $5,000 reward that's now posted by the U.S. Marshals will be paid out immediately upon Asir Boone's capture. They want to make that clear to people. They say, again, the 17-year-old is the fourth suspect that has been sought. Additionally, they say that if there is anybody that is assisting them, hit, assisting him, rather, that they will prosecute those people as well. We will continue to hunt um, all day tomorrow, tomorrow evening. As long as it takes. 17 year old Asir Boone is the fourth suspect and still at large. The family is very aware that we are looking for our fourth suspect. They were somewhat cooperative. We are um, hopeful they do the right thing. Last night, the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force gave Boone a deadline of Wednesday morning to turn himself in. That deadline came and went. Boone is one of four facing attempted murder charges for Wednesday's shooting that injured eight Northeast high school students at a SEPTA bus stop along Cotman Avenue in Burlholm. Yesterday afternoon, Marshals took the third suspect, 19 year old Jermont Carter, into custody in the 12,000 block of Academy Road in Northeast Philadelphia. On Monday, investigators announced the arrest of the first two suspects, 18 year old Jamal Tucker, the alleged getaway driver and 18 year old Anil Bugs. Core records revealed Bugs contacted an inmate at the Pine Grove prison a day after the Cotman Avenue shooting to talk about another teen who had been shot to death two days prior. Police have said they're still working to determine whether the mass shooting is connected to the murder of an Imhotep Charter High School student, 17 year old Damon Taylor at a SEPTA bus stop in the Ogon section. And Brian, the district attorney's office said that two of the suspects that are currently in custody did have their bail set at $16 million. The third suspect's bail set was at set at $4 million. For now, reporting live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Yeah, that shooting happening one week ago tonight. Annie, thank you. And